Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, and Andhra Pradesh. These four southern states are contributing to about 50% of the area and production of coconut. Coming to the situation in Andhra Pradesh. In Andhra Pradesh, the area under coconut is 1.04 lakh hectares with a production of 1,396 million nut and the productivity is about 14,038 nut per hectare. And Andhra Pradesh with the productivity of 14,038 nut per hectare is leading in productivity in the entire country. But when we compare the net returns per unit area, they are very low. And because nearly 60% of the space, the spacing in coconut we follow is 7.5 by 7.5 meter or 8 by 8 meter. And the remaining vacant place will be left because for that reason, the net returns per unit area are low. And if we go for coconut based cropping system, the vacant space can be effectively utilized. And coming to the root distribution, coconut has a typical advantageous root system. And its horizontal spread is limited up to 2 meter radius. And in this context, why coconut is most suitable for rising intercrops when we compare with oil palm? In oil palm, the horizontal spread of the roots will be more. And also, when we are talking about the light interception, the canopy structure and light interception, the orientation of the fronts in coconut with advancing age, the fronts will be drooping and also the size of the fronts will decrease. Whereas in oil palm, it is not the case. So when we want to compare coconut and oil palm, rising of intercrops in coconut is more remunerative compared to oil palm. And uh, another reason is price fluctuations. We all know that coconut price fluctuations, it will be varying from 5 rupees, 6 rupees to 10 rupees if it is ripened or mature nut. The cost of tender nut is a different issue, but when we are talking about the ripened nut, the ripened nut, there will be very less price. Even uh, three, four years back, the farmer received a meager price of 2 rupees. In that case, the farmer will be incurring huge losses. So, so to overcome this huge losses, if the farmer grows for the rising of intercrops in the vacant places, he can overcome the losses and the economic position of the farmer will be improved. And also, similar is the case with the cyclones. East and West Kodari districts are major coconut growing areas in Andhra Pradesh. And these districts, they will be frequently prone to cyclones. Once the cyclone comes, if there is a nut fall, the farmer will get huge losses. So when the farmer grows intercrops, the intercrop may be in a pre-bearing stage or before harvesting stage or like that. And there will be more chances for the farmer. Even though the main crop gets damaged, there will be more scope for the farmer to get the produce from the intercrops. And uh, overall, the coconut-based cropping system, it will provide for effective utilization of all the resources. All the resources means soil, water, sunlight, and everything. All the natural resources can be utilized. So just a brief definition of coconut-based cropping system. It will be involving several species, seasonal, annual, perennial crop. So that it was evolved to meet their demand and to achieve efficiency in utilization of resources. And also the adoption of coconut-based cropping system, it will take us to improve the productivity 
the productivity increases because the soil characteristics will improve and the coconut nutrition also will improve when compared to monocrop coconut so high density multi species cropping system high density multi species cropping system the coconut is the best crop which suits in this system and high density multi species cropping system involves growing a number of compatible crops in unit area to meet the diverse needs of the farmer and for sustain and additional income from the same piece of land all we are talking about this is per unit area the income from per unit area should be more next the selection and inclusion of crop components they will be influenced by agro ecological zone and first thing we have to keep in mind whenever we are talking about intercrop or coconut based cropping system we should bear in mind that it should have irrigation facilities and drainage facilities should be there otherwise the crops will get deficit of water our purpose will not be served and also household preferences depending upon the household preferences like cereals pulses anything vegetables depending upon our choice we can grow the intercrop in coconut and the same is the case with family requirement and uh, the selection of crop also depends upon the dietary habits next relevance of coconut based cropping systems we will get food security through food sufficiency automatically when the farmer grows intercrops in coconut we will be getting food security and nutritional food rich in vitamin and minerals when he grows for growing vegetables and fruits the vitamins and minerals will be met and the main important thing is employment generation suppose coconut if it is grown as a monocrop the employment generation will be about uh, hardly about 80 100 mandate but if uh, intercrop is grown suppose cocoa it requires many many more mandate about uh, 300 400 mandate and our problem of employment unemployment will be solved and uh, ecological stability automatically through we will be getting vast and huge amount of biomass and that biomass will be converted into vermicompost or natural decomposition we will be getting everything protection only the plant health will improve automatically human health and finally environmental health will improve that means we can reduce the pollution also and um, overall the major concept here is we should uh, achieve sustainability the scope for sustainable development are coconut based cropping systems only next benefits benefits means first social benefits the social benefits means food and nutritional functions through the through the fresh nuts of coconut and other products suppose if we grow cereal root crops legumes our requirement of carbohydrate protein fat and oils will be met and by growing fruit crop like banana pineapple our requirements of vitamin mineral will be met through and leafy and fruity vegetables they serve as a rich source for vitamins mineral and dietary fibers suppose spice crops like pepper if they are grown they will be used in food flavoring and they will also supply the required vitamins and minerals and suppose if coffee and cocoa are grown they will be as beverages and stimulants the like this the social benefits will be met through and coming to the ecological benefits under coconut based cropping system the soil conditions will improve and uh, there will be stability for intensive and susceptible sustainable intensive and sustainable agricultural production is possible and uh, it will be attributed to more efficient utilization of the available resources 
and next uh, through coconut based cropping system soil and water conservation can be achieved because by growing intercrops the ground cover it will minimize the direct impact of rainfall and the soil erosion can be controlled up to 70 to 90 percent when we compare with the monocrop where the leftover spaces will be vacant so through rising intercrops we can minimize soil and water conservation also and through this we will be achieving the improvement in micro climate automatically the micro climate prevailing in between coconut and the intercrops will improve next coconut as a shade tree coconut it provide shade and so the shade loving plant cocoa now cocoa is the most suitable intercrop in coconut in east and west godavari districts of andhra pradesh so as it can provide shade the cultivation of cocoa is being possible in coconut and farm diversification also will be possible because vast intercrops many intercrops can be grown and automatically we can achieve the target of nutrient recycling because by growing various intercrops the biomass will be improved and uh, by converting it into vermi compost the nutrient recycling will be possible in coconut based cropping system the our main concept is the input of one plant will be used as output the input of one enterprise will be used as output for the other enterprise and like that we can achieve nutrient recycling and finally sustainable development can be achieved so realizing the importance of coconut based cropping systems for coastal districts of andhra pradesh the experiment on coconut based cropping systems was conducted at acrp on farm ambaji peta from 2008 to 2012 and these are the intercrops grown coconut cocoa banana pineapple elephant foot ya and california the all the crops were fit in based on keeping in mind the pattern of root system of coconut and other intercrop and also the pattern of light interception and uh, if the age of the coconut is more than 20 years we can go for perennial and this experiment was initiated in 25 years godavari ganga plot and this is the schematic representation of the intercrop how the plants were accommodated you can have a pictorial view and next this is the field view of the coconut based cropping system these are the intercrops coconut cocoa pineapple eliconeia elephant foot ya and banana and if you compare the yield of coconut based cropping system was compared with the monocrop coconut and uh, we can uh, see a sustainable improvement in the yield the yield after 4 years the increase in yield can be attributed to overall improvement means the concentration will increase in case of irrigation fertilizer weeding etc here we have to keep in mind when we are rising intercrop the fertilizer dosage the recommended fertilizer dosage should be given for coconut coconut uh, we have to give the rdf for coconut rdf for cocoa banana pineapple elephant foot ya and heliconia means whatever may be the intercrop the recommended dose of fertilizer has to be applied if we don't know if you are not aware some farmers they will simply apply fertilizer to coconut and they will not apply to intercrop and if they apply fertilizer to intercrop they won't apply fertilizers to coconut then the yield will reduce but if you apply the recommended dose of fertilizer it will increase we can attribute the increase in coconut in coconut based cropping system may be due to increased care and uh, these are the intercrops yield in 
coconut based cropping system next vermicompost was produced the biomass obtained was converted into vermicompost and also vermi wash was obtained and the organic conservation measures were followed using husk burial and glycerol leaves were kept in the basin of the coconut and uh, total biomass obtained was 34.5 tons per hectare per year and the obtained biomass was converted into vermicompost by using hydrolysis ethene and about 20 tons of vermicompost was obtained with a recovery of 58.1% and uh, soil moisture was also increased and uh, earthworm count was increased naturally the earthworm count will improve because overall the soil health will improve in coconut based cropping system due to modification of the micro climate and um, also when we are adding the biomass the fertilizer dose can be reduced next as there was increase in soil organic matter the soil organic carbon nitrogen phosphorus and potassium were also increased in coconut based cropping system when compared to monocrop coconut and the microbial population bacteria actinomyces trichoderma phosphorus solubilizing bacteria were also higher because automatically the soil quality was improved and if you compare the benefit cost ratio in coconut based cropping system we got 1.73 when compared to monocrop 1.35 so we can see the advantage of coconut based cropping system over monocrop coconut so we have developed the coconut based cropping system model successfully at ambati peta and coming to the situation in andhra pradesh east and west godavari districts they occupy nearly 70% of the area and production of andhra pradesh followed by sikakulam and visakhapatna districts and uh, when we compare these both the districts east godavari is leading with about 50% share in area and production so intensive surveys were carried out during 2015 to 17 in east and west godavari districts of andhra pradesh so as to get an idea about the what are the intercrops the farmers were growing what are the cultivation practices they were practicing and the income they generated and uh, comparison what is the farmers perception everything was collected so first example coconut based cropping system with organic farming this farmer by name s subramanyam he lives in mukamla village of east godavari district and the family size is small he is having four acres in coconut and cocoa he is cultivating in three acres and monocrop coconut in one acre and you can see the coconut here the farmer got trained in organic farming at nabad he is very progressive farmer and he believes only in organic cultivation and now our aim is also towards organic and sustainability so i took this example they were following they were preparing ganajeevamrutam and jeevamrutam just uh, details of uh, ganajeevamrutam they will take cow dung 100 kg cow urine 5 liters and bengal gram powder 1 kg black gram powder 1 kg mud from ant horse 1 kg and they will mix with jaggery together these products they will be using it for fermentation they will enhance the fermentation and they will mix dry and they will be using it as a menu you can uh, clearly see the preparation and uh, after drying they will simply keep those uh, in the at the time of field preparation and jeevamrutam means liquid they will be taking 10 kg cow dung cow urine 2 to 3 liters and they will mix up in water 200 liter and they will leave for 10 days fermentation you can see the preparation of uh, jeevamrutam and ganjeevamrutam and the farmer in his field so they will be 
uh, throughout in the field they will be giving only organic recycling using vermicompost and ganajeevamrutam and at the time of plant preparation they will be giving ganajeevamrutam and if they see any pests or diseases then they will be going for jeevamrutam 1 is to 10 spray and they will be supplementing with farmed manure and bio fertilizers echtobacter phosphobacteria you all know this is nitrogen fixing and phosphorus solubilizing bacteria and vam fungi for symbiotic action and they will be using trichoderma and pseudomonas and you all might be aware the role of trichoderma and pseudomonas in coconut and cocoa cultivation the ganoderma which, which is a deadly disease in coconut it can be controlled only through this biological control the biological measures only we have to follow this trichoderma it will be multiplied along with neem cake and it will be applied in the basin of coconut this is the only way for to control of ganoderma in coconut and also pseudomonas it will be used for the control of bud rot in coconut so the farmer is following all the organic measures and he is getting uh, the advantage in coconut and cocoa is sustained yields we can get the sustained yields and here comparison between coconut and coconut and cocoa the net return from coconut you can see about 23500 the economics is calculated for one acre and if you compare coconut and cocoa intercropping he is receiving about 72250 rupees so if you compare the income of the farmers he is getting almost two times income and as the farmer is very much satisfied with this coconut based cropping system and uh, he will be giving training to other farmers here and uh, the farmer perception is instead of leaving the vacant land in between he is growing cocoa and his income is also increased next because cocoa is the popular and most beneficial intercrop in east godavari district and next is coconut and cocoa in west godavari district in halwalpalli village here you know the cauliflorous nature of cocoa and uh, it is a uh, high yielding and uh, we visited the field along with cadbury people and uh, if you see if you compare the yield and uh, net returns from monocrop he got 25000 and uh, from coconut and cocoa he is getting about 25500 and by growing cocoa as intercrop he is getting 50000 rupees more per acre here you all finally the students uh, the main motto of this coconut readiness program is to make you as job providers not job seekers so uh, with the knowledge attained in coconut based cropping systems you can uh, uh, move in the direction how to improve the productivity per unit area and how you can develop this in an entrepreneurship way also and next uh, high density multi species cropping system we all we have discussed already the definition of high density multi species cropping system this uh, farmer by name kandavalli nagesh rogaru he resides in munganda village in east godavari district by qualification he is a pharmacist he studied b pharmacy but he has passion for coconut and uh, he is having four acres in coconut based cropping system model that is he is growing coconut elkanut cocoa banana and pepper all these five crops he is growing in four acres land and uh, this is the field view you can clearly see the coconut banana and uh, pepper cocoa everything here coming to the economics uh, he has uh, 240 of coconut ergana 600 cocoa 600 and banana 2000 he is having and pepper only 240 wines are there and the 
he is getting about the 125 nut of coconut and here if you see in this high density multi species cropping system if you want to compare only from coconut it is getting 63600 and if we raised all the crops including coconut the farmer is getting 244600 rupees and here in ericana he is getting about 0.8 kg chali chali is the direct product of ericana mm, and if, uh, if more care is taken the yield will be increased and here the farmer is very much satisfied with his identity multi species cropping system because he is getting more returns compared to monocrop one thing and uh, here he can achieve sustainability and he expressed the pest and disease incidence was low when compared to monocrop and uh, he can achieve the sustainability utilizing efficiently all the natural resources like sunlight water and soil nutrients and also the soil will be enriched with the biomass and you will be getting income instead of weed growth if we, if only coconut was left simply weed will grow so everything efficient fertilizer usage is uh, coming mm, soil moisture is getting conserved all are advantages only so the farmer is uh, much convinced with high density multi species cropping system model compared to monocrop you have to just compare how much per unit area suppose if only coconut is grown how much income the farmer is getting and if the intercrops is grown how much is the investment and how much is the benefit he is getting has to be compared and next is b kasi vishwanathan mm, he is from mokamla village and uh, here the high density multi species cropping system was coconut guava ericanut sweet orange and banana so as i told you in the introduction the choice of the intercrops it depends upon our family dietary habit and our preference so the farmer is following as per his choice so um all the need can be met minerals vitamins everything can be met so this is the field view you can clearly see in the picture coconut cocoa ericanut sweet orange and banana and uh, coming to the details um, the variety age of the plantations the population being maintained and the spacing followed where given and banana is 10 months old only yet to bear so you can see in comparison he is getting coconut about 22500 net returns and uh, cocoa is just 3 years only so he is getting 1.5 kg uh, the yield depends you all know that coconut it will be there up to 60 to 70 years cocoa for 35 to 40 years similarly ericanut and a sweet orange banana will be there for 2 years sweet orange will be changing from 5 to 8 years depending upon the health of the tree so um, here in this situation you can see you can just compare the yields total we are getting yields of 28800 rupees when compared to the net returns of only 22500 in coconut so uh, the income of the farmer is uh, increasing by three times so all the coconut based cropping system we are seeing the income is either doubling or three times four times like that and next another case study with the high density multi species cropping system um, here muchala jami he hails from kotelanka village and uh, he owns about uh, 13 acres and uh, here he is having coconut ericanut and black pepper and here you can see coconut ericanut and black pepper and uh, if you compare he, he raised this system in one acre he is having 13 acres but this uh, uh, cropping system is being followed in one acre only and uh, coconut is coastal previously if you see in Andhra Pradesh 
every farmer will be having is first all only now only since uh, eight to ten years the farmers are going for godavari ganga previously also godavari ganga is there but very um lesser areas and um, east and west border districts whatever we have collected it is mainly is postal except one or two cases previously kandavalli nageshwara field he raised godavari ganga uh, like that only two three cases we are having godavari ganga now the rising of godavari ganga in farmers field increased and here this is the distribution of population and the yield in coconut ericanut and black pepper and ericanut he is raising mangala and sumangala and pepper paneer five variety he is raising and um, the recommended spacing was followed so you can compare here also how much the net returns the variation in net returns in high density multi species cropping system compared to the monocrop coconut and next one. coconut based cropping system with entrepreneurship here dand sachinarayan raju is a very progressive farmer and he is a entrepreneur also here he is having total 6 acres of land under coconut based cropping system and uh, the advantage for him is the village is 60 km from rajmandri so when you want to establish uh, an industry you have to think how much for marketing facilities it should be convenient also and here the farmer is growing 1 acre coconut and 1 acre coconut and turmeric 1 acre coconut plus papaya and 1 acre coconut plus ginger and other coconut and banana and coconut and greater putiam so if you see just you can compare the net return from coconut and how much variation you can see and if you compare all these uh, crops is getting highest net returns of 160500 from coconut and turmeric and uh, when compared to monocrop coconut all these things and here you can know the strategy of the farmer also because he has diversified this is the strategy we have to follow the farmer has cleverly taken one intercrop in one acre another intercrop in another acre so so he can meet the he can easily overcome the price fluctuation and uh, if there is any glut in marketing for one crop if we get less price for one crop it will be compensated by the other crop so this is where he has entrepreneurship skills also and uh, you can see he has got the highest net returns of 160000 from coconut and turmeric these are the field views coconut cocoa turmeric papaya and banana and here is entrepreneurship he is growing neem trees around the field buns and he is manufacturing neem powder and uh, he is uh, selling neem powder he is branded for quality neem powder and uh, he is earning money from neem trees also so that is where the skills of the farmers were required and so he can easily overcome the marketing fluctuations and he can overcome because coconut farmers always they will be telling we are having low price for coconut we are unable to meet the production cost like that so if they go for intercropping the farmers will be happy they will be getting more income next is coconut and sweet orange so uh, though sweet orange is not the appropriate crop few farmers they are growing sweet orange as per their dietary habits or as per their family preferences and this uh, dr j s n murthy is a doctor by profession but he has passion for coconut he is having 13 acres of coconut and uh, in that he raised sweet orange as intercrop in only 2 acres and uh, the sweet orange is yet to bear only initial stage the fruit uh, the tree started bearing so here also you can see the variation in the net returns and gross returns the farmer is acquiring so he is getting total 68220 rupees 
when compared to monocrop coconut. Next, um, another um, success story with coconut and turmeric. The farmer is of B. Subhanarayana. He is from Wakalanka village. And uh, in, he is growing monocrop coconut in one acre and coconut and turmeric in 1.5 acre. Here you can see the field view coconut and turmeric. And uh, here you should compare the net returns. He is getting highest net returns, 1,29,000. And from coconut he is getting only 22,000. Here previously also you are seeing the farmer himself he is telling that coconut from coconut based cropping system yield will be more than when we compare with monocrop coconut. The reason behind this is increase in the concentration of the farmers we will be giving irrigation, we will be giving fertilizers, everything. So the microclimate will be improved automatically. The soil fertility will be improved, the soil conditions will be improved. So over the years we can see this pattern. And next, coconut and elephant putyam. The name of the farmer is Venkata Kameshwarao. He hails from Ismanda village. And he is having 20 acres. And uh, he is growing coconut and elephant putyam in 2 acres. You can see the coconut and elephant putyam. And here... Mm, you all know elephant foot camp spacing is uh, 60 by 60 centimeter and the coconut is 7 by 7 meter. And here, if you compare the yields, the farmer is getting 1,12,000 from one acre of coconut and elephant foot camp when we compare with monocrop coconut. And here in elephant foot camp, also, when we see uh, the seed and uh, the seed material cost it will be varying sometimes depending 12 to 15 rupees here uh, the production cost will include will include more of the seed cost and depending upon the cost of the produce the net returns of the farmer will be varying next uh, another farmer he has gone for coconut papaya and ginger he owns uh, one acre and here the field view of coconut, papaya and ginger and here the farmer is getting from monocrop coconut 23,000 and from papaya is about 60,000 and from ginger he is getting about 8 tons and uh, total net returns from coconut, papaya, ginger cropping system is about 1,85,000. And he has um, um, raised East Coastal variety of coconut and papaya red lady and ginger Natsipatna local. And the spacing details were also given. Next. And uh, here previously we have discussed about growing up annuals. When the age of the coconut palm is up to five years, we will be growing vegetable uh, annuals. And when the age of the coconut palm is about 20 years, we'll be going for rising perennial intercrops. So here, uh, a farmer by name, he is Swami, he hails from West Godavari district. He is a small farmer and uh, he is having two acres. And uh, he raised vegetables, coconut plus brinjal in half acre, coconut and bottle gourd, half acre, and coconut and rich god in half acre means he has planted coconut and when the coconut is in preparing stage he has to wait for the produce to come and for his income instead of wasting the land when the coconut is in preparing stage he has opted to grow vegetables so by growing brinja rich god and bottle god so instead of waiting for the income to come up to five to six years. In the interspaces, he has gone for the cultivation of vegetables and he has obtained from Brinjal 40,000 and from 25,000 per acre from Bridge God and 20,000. And if you compare the cost variation for one acre 
if he doesn't work for growing intercropping of vegetable he won't get any income only he has to invest in the production but now he opted for growing vegetable so he got net returns of about 85000 so that is the importance of intercropping or coconut based cropping system from farmers point of view next coconut oil palm and cocoa the farmer by name a subbaro he lives in kalvalpalli village and he own 11 acres of land and uh, he is uh, growing coconut oil palm and cocoa and here the variety is uh, is coastal in coconut and tenara oil palm and cocoa forested almost all the cocoa plantations in andhra pradesh are forest road type only and here the population being maintained by the farmer and here is the field view and as already discussed earlier the coconut is more convenient for growing intercrops in terms of light interception or the root growth and so coming to the economics cocoa is in pre bearing stage and is getting by going oil palm in coconut is getting additional income of about 32000 so monocrop coconut is getting only 28000 and coconut oil palm and cocoa is getting 60000 the income was almost double and if the cocoa starts bearing another 30 to 40000 the farmer can earn so this is the situation so the farmer is very happy because instead of leaving the vacant uh, spaces and uh, further he has to invest for uh, uh, weeding and everything he is getting income from intercrops next progressive farmer by name mullapudi mulli krishna garu he hails from kalvalpalli village and uh, he is growing coconut and pineapple here you can see pineapple and uh, this uh, pineapple is uh, having coconut 60 palm and pineapple about 5000 number of pineapple is being maintained and uh, you can see clearly the yield and net income he is obtaining so only from coconut is getting 24000 but if he goes for coconut and pineapple he is getting 60500 rupees per acre the farmer is very happy he is innovative farmer but uh, the price for pineapple it will be varying from 10 rupees to 15 rupees depending upon the demand so next one is coconut cocoa and goa here uh, the farmer is maduri subaro he lives in pushatam palli village west godavari district it is nearer to rajmandri and uh, he owns about 6 acres of land and uh, coconut based cropping system coconut cocoa and goa is being raised in two acres here um, all the journal research and uh, project coordinator as er farms and scientists of hyderabad sambadipeta visited this field because he is progressive farmer what he is doing is Though Goa is not remunerative, he has the rice Godavari Ganga coconut, and the coconut started bearing in three and a half years, and at the age of five years, it is giving two thousand nuts per acre per year, and from cocoa he is getting about eight quintal dry bean, and from Goa plantation what he did he multiplied Goa layers, and he is marketing at the rate of fifty five rupees. and by selling goa layers he is getting more income so how clever the farmer is and uh, you can see his entrepreneurship qualities and uh, annual net income he is obtaining 2 lakhs 28000 per acre because he will be getting income from coconut cocoa is also very high yielding he is getting about 1 lakh 44000 and through goa he is getting 60000 he is selling taiwan fruits and also he is maintaining 
Asiat net and he is selling Goa layers also. So the farmer is getting additional income. So here we have to concentrate how intelligent the farmer is, how intelligent the horticulture student or the scientist should be there to improve the income of the farmer. And then publications. The paper was published on uh, coconut-based high-density multi-species cropping system. Mm, and next, um, finally, coming to the conclusion, you have seen a number of cases varying from uh, uh, intercrops to high-density multi-species cropping systems and uh, how the farmer is uh, efficient to utilizing all the resources. So mm, coming to the conclusion, by growing intercrops, the productivity of the coconut will increase and the productivity per unit area will be increased and it will improve the soil fertility and nutrient uptake from the coconut based cropping system and employment generation in terms of man days and the net income overall the net income of the farmer will be increasing about the three to four times when compared to monocrop everything will be increasing that means soil fertility will improve soil quality will improve the organic manure will be improve and the soil quality means earthworms trichoderma pseudomonas all the everything will be improved and finally the farmer can overcome the vagaries of the weather so these are all the advantages and um, advantages of coconut based cropping system i think uh, you got uh, broad understanding about the prevailing coconut based cropping conditions at farmers level in east and west godavari district of andhra pradesh so i think coconut based cropping systems it paves way for doubling farmer income thank you Participants, if you have any doubt, uh, you can unmute yourself and you can. Thank you, ma'am. So participants can ask questions now. I think in chat box also no questions were posted. Okay, if you have any doubt, uh, you can uh, post in the WhatsApp group also, so that uh, Madam will answer later. Um, so let me conclude this session. Uh, so thank you, Dr. Padma Madam, uh, uh, for delivering an informative and uh, detailed lecture on uh, success stories of uh, coconut-based cropping systems in uh, Godavari districts of Andhra Pradesh, uh, covering different uh, models of coconut-based cropping systems and uh, benefits in terms of yield uh, as well as returns uh, leading to efficient resource use and ultimately uh, uh, to the raised income levels of the farmers also. I hope the success stories presented uh, in today's class motivated the participants uh, to educate the farmers uh, in adopting those uh, cropping systems. Thank you, Padma Madam. Thank uh, you. Thank you. So,